All right, so we're going to start creating the articles module. And I'm just going to look at the, um, the spec for articles. Lists and feed is going to be a bit more work than normal CRUD operations. So we're going to focus on a single article right now because it's pretty normal. And, and then we'll do the, the find all afterwards. So first, let's generate the modules using the nest CLI. So I'm going to do nest generate module article, then the service, and I'm going to add the no spec uh, flag so that we don't create um, the unit test, and then finally the controller, and then we'll open up the article directory and you'll see the files that we generated. All right, I'm going to close some directories here just to give us some room. And let's open up the module first. And we're going to need a couple of imports. So I'm going to do imports here. Uh, the first thing we want is the typeboard module. Typeboard module. And for feature for all of the entities that we want. So. We know that we want the art article entity, so article entity. And then we're also going to want the user entity. Uh, that's for, um, was it article ownership and all of that? And then we're going to want to import um, the auth module so that we have access to the auth guards. I think that's going to be all for now. And let's go into the uh, let's go to the service first, um, and then in the service we're gonna add a constructor so that we could uh, inject the repository. So I'm gonna inject and inject repository. Uh, this is for both the article and user. And first, let's do the find one, which where the constraint is going to be by the slug. So we're going to do find by slug here. And we're going to be given the slug, which is going to be a string. And we can do this dot article repo find one where slug. And Make sure that we return this and then the next thing is we're going to want to add a create option create article which is going to take in two parameters uh, we want the user which is going to be the user entity and that's going to be coming from the request user object that we created the decorator for earlier and they also want the data and this is where we're going to want to create a, a data transfer object or a DTO. So I'm going to do touch, um, where, where did I put all the stuff? So source models, this is going to be article dot model dot TS. Then we can open that up and we'll get, we'll just do an export class, um, uh, create article DTO. And then if we check the readme, the, the data transfer object is going to be looking like this, the title, title, description, body, tag list. So that's what the create's going to want. So title, string, body, string, description, string, and then With that, we could go back to the article service, uh, give this the type of create article DTO, which we need to import. And here we could do a return. Um, we're not gonna want a return. We're actually gonna have some logic. So article is gonna be equal to this dot article repo dot create data. And then uh, we need to populate the the author field. 
So it's going to be article dot author equal to user. Then we can do, uh, then we get add an await here to do article dot save. And finally, we'll be able to return the article. And now that we're having a wait, so we need to change this to an async method. And let's look at the readme again. Um, so it's gonna be by the slug for update and delete. Okay, so in the service, we're gonna need to make another, uh, we're gonna add a helper function and I'm gonna make it private. So, um, after we find the article by the slug, we're gonna need something to ensure ownership, which will take the user, and I'll take the user entity here. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna do the user, user entity, as well as the article, which is gonna be the article entity. And we'll just return, um, what is it? Article.author.id is equal to user.id. So it should just return a Boolean here. And we can make it a little safer by adding the return type. So we'll do update article here, which is gonna take in the user, user entity, and the data is gonna be of type update, um, our article data DTO, which we need to create. So we're gonna jump back into the models and create the update class update article DTO and it's gonna look exactly like the create except uh, we're gonna add the decorators for validation here so let's add the validation um, properties from class validator. So all of these are going to be oops, is string is string is string. Let's add that space. And then this is is array. Actually, I, I don't know. Um, class validator array of strings. What does that look like? Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be is string where it's gonna be each true and just gonna copy all of this, paste, and then add the decorator here for is optional, and that should be good to go for our article service. So let's add that there, and here we're gonna just do this dot find by slug. Slug. Oh, we're also going to want the slug here, so slug, and const article equals, and then we'll do this dot ensure ownership of article, and that's going to give us a promise, so async here, await here. Ensure article user. 
And then we could do um, await this dot article repo dot updates and we'll send the article. Or we'll send in the data. What is wrong with this? Um, 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 um. Uh, so it takes in criteria first. So that means we'll add in the constraint of slug. And I believe we can just return article here. Um, and then delete should be also pretty simple. Uh, wait, just, uh, yeah. I'll just make a new one. So async delete article. We need the slug and the user. We don't need the data here because we're just going to do a flat delete. Let's scroll down. And we'll do const article equals to await this dot find by slug, providing the slug. Do a ensure ownership of the article and user. Uh, user comes first. So. And there's gonna be a wait. Oh, not not a wait. Um, and then we could just do a wait. This dot article repo dot remove. I believe it's called. Yep. And. And we just provide the entities. So article here. And then I just noticed that I made a mistake. So ensure ownership gives us a, a Boolean and we're not actually checking the Boolean here. So I'm going to do um, if here and open this up. Let's get rid of that semicolon. So, um, if the user doesn't own it, then I'm gonna throw an error, and I would do an unauthorized exception. New unauthorized exception, and we'll do the same thing here. So. If oop, get rid of that semicolon, throw new unauthorized unauthorized exception, and I'm forgetting the exclamation point here. Save. Now we could jump into our article controller, and the first thing that we're gonna change is it's gonna be slash articles. And let's do, um, so we want to do a get here for not just at the root, but at slash slug, slug. And it's gonna be a uh, find by slug where we're providing the param of slug, which is a string, and we could do return this dot article service dot find my slug of slug. But before we could do that, we need to actually inject our service. So constructor and this is private. Article service of type of article service. And then we could also now do the post of slash slug. We'll move this mouse because it's covering the colon. 
and the post needs to be using a guard, which is the auth guard. And this is a create article. Okay, we don't actually need this logger, so. But we do need the user decorator, which gives us the user, which is a user entity. And we also need data, which is in the form of article colon create article DTO. And this comes from the body, which we could pass in the validation, validation pipe. There it is. And then in create article, we could just run the service. So we'll, uh, actually this has to be an async function because of the way that we're returning the information. So we're gonna find or we're going to do the create first, so it'll be article equals to uh, await this dot article service dot create article. And let's see, we need to send in the user first. So user and then data dot article. And we want to return it in an object envelope like this. So article. And that goes the same for find by slug. This is gonna be async. This is gonna be const um, article equals to, to await. And we're gonna return article like so. Whoa. Okay. And let's add the update and update's gonna be put at slash slug. Uh, we'll still need the guard. And update article. I guess we'll open it up like that. Yeah, we'll definitely need the user. User entity. And we need the body, which we're going to use a validation pipe. Data is going to be in the form of article, update article DTO. And let's open this up. And it's going to be the same format. Um, oh, we also need the slug. So let's get the param of slug here log which is a string article which is awaits this dot article service dot update article and let's see what the order is slug first then user then data slug user data dot article return article and then finally Let's add the delete. Slug, add the guards. All right, cool. Now we just need to run this through our end-to-end -end test and see if uh, these will also pass. And then we'll fix anything that's wrong after that, I guess. Uh, start dev, and then we're gonna jump into Postman. And as soon as the server's up, I'm gonna press the retry button. Uh, actually, over here, I'm going to go back to our database connection and 
change the drop schema to true so that we'll have a fresh database. All right, retry. Here we go. All right, so if we go down to articles, and that should be here. We're skipping the all articles right now. And in the create, uh, we're missing the favorited, favorites count. And that's because we need to change the response of article to, to do dot to article or where we pass in the user. Dot to article user. And that's also true for the find by slug here. Um, since we're reusing find by slug in, down here, I'm actually going to go into the controller for the find here. And I'll just do article dot to article. Um, yeah, this is going to want the use guards, the optional guard, so new optional auth guard. And let's get rid of this here. All right, um, and in here, we're going to be passing in the user, which we can get from the user uh, decorator here. Let's save. And then there's one last thing that I messed up on that took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit. But here it says join column, and this actually should be join table and once we have all of that ready we go into our runner and just do a retry and now we'll have a 100 test passing and we could scroll down uh, as I mentioned all articles we're skipping for now but create is fully passing uh, almost. Still needs favorite counts. And single article is now passing with the slug. Update is also passing. And everything's good. Um, let's check out the create. Why is this? So it turns out the the join table doesn't actually exist until after the article has been saved. So what we're gonna do here is gonna we're gonna destructure the slug here, and we want to return the article after it's been saved. So we have to do another find. So I'm gonna do um, an await inside of this, and it's gonna be this article repo dot find one and from the destructure slug we're going to get it and then we're going to return to article and let's also get rid of that and, and the postman runner should now give us 102 tests passing and it does alright so in the next video we're going to fill out some of these other tests and hopefully get this number to uh, pass all of them. Um, we have a ways to go, but we're, we're going to get there. All right. I'll see you guys next time.